So today I'm gonna talk about more about the reality trans surfing, reality shifting. Definitely going raw vegan helps you like raise your frequency and be able to tap into the fifth dimension. The fifth dimension is not a place, it's just a frequency, it's a state of mind that you anyone can tap into if their bodies are able to raise to such frequency. So things that affect your frequency are the foods you eat definitely because whatever you eat is going to stay in your body and it's going to affect um, your microbiome and that's going to in turn change you know this is our second gut so this is going to also be connected to our thoughts our emotions so it's all connected so when you change what you eat when you change what you see what you hear and when you change your feelings you you'll be able to raise your frequency and be able to tap into the fifth dimension so someone commented in one of my videos is it possible for them to change their age and facial appearance now I was thinking about how I was going to answer this question because yes, it's possible, but let me tell you how, okay? So think about why you want to be the age that you prefer to be. Say, I don't know this person, this person didn't tell me any other details, but say you maybe are 15 and you want to be 20 because you feel like you'll get more respect, more responsibilities, more freedom. Begin embodying that age and facial um, appearance. Close your eyes, practice meditation. For this, it's very good to have a very vivid imagination. In order to help your imagination expand, you must do meditation and you must also cut out fluoride from your diet so that your pineal gland can work properly. Uh, pineal gland releases the drug DMT, which is very colorful drug and then also decalcifies the actual ruts and cones so you're able to see you're able to dream more vividly you're able to imagine more vividly my pineal gland is pretty decalcified so whenever i close my eyes i see a lot of colors and shapes and images so for me meditation is very fun it's not boring at all but i understand how some people with their pineal gland calcified might find meditation very boring because they're not seeing anything they just see pitch black so in order to decalcify your pineal gland cut out fluoride cut out milk dairy meat, cheese, um, acidic foods, processed foods, eat mainly raw vegan, meditate a lot, um, take a kelp, try listening to like frequencies and focus a lot on the third eye, expand your third eye. So imagine the life that you would have if you had that certain age and certain appearance. Imagine the feeling that you would feel. Imagine that right now you tap into that a parallel universe where you do have that age and that facial experience how would you feel how does your body like change because when you do that you will you will realize like your body will change the your breathing pattern will change your facial expression will change your posture will, will change and it's all very automatic so think about what kind of feeling does having that age or facial uh, appearance give to you and embody that feeling as often as you can when you embody that feeling you're actually connecting to that parallel universe now you're not going to just magically open your eyes and look in the mirror and be a different face and have a different age um, and this may, may disappoint you but it will happen in time but let me tell you why it doesn't have to disappoint you when you're in the fifth dimension anything that isn't energy doesn't matter your face, how your, it looks doesn't matter. Your age doesn't matter. Where you live doesn't matter. Like nothing of the third dimensional world matters. It's all about energy. It's all about frequency. You are energy. You are frequency. You, have, you are worthy to feel whatever energy you want to feel. So you are worthy to feel the energy that you would feel if you had that certain facial uh, appearance or certain age. That, that energy, that feeling is available to you whenever you want. Same with money. Same with material gains you are worthy of feeling the energy that you would if you had a million dollars or if you had a Ferrari or your dream car, your dream house, your dream job. Those feelings, because you don't want the things, you want what the feeling that will come with the things. You don't want a million dollars, you want what it could buy you, you want the freedom. If you had a million pieces of dollar bills, of paper, but money, wasn't a thing in society you it would be useless to you it would be completely useless so you don't want the pieces of paper you want what it can buy you you want the feeling you want the freedom 
Um, same thing with everything else in the third dimensional world. You don't really want those things. You want the feeling that you have attached to them. Now, another thing about uh, symbols and the meaning that we attach to them is all very relative. Um, we assign these meanings to those things. It's like language. Words themselves don't mean anything, but we give the meaning to them. That is why language is so fluid and it changes through generations. Um, because we are the ones, us humans are the ones applying the meaning to the symbols. We give meaning to the words and then we use words to communicate meanings that we want to express. Um, anything else in the two-dimensional world, if you want a different face, um, that's just a, a physical thing, that's a third dimensional thing. And the thing that you want is not really the physical thing, it's the feeling. It's you want to look in the mirror and feel something. You want to go out into the world and feel a certain way, you feel more confident. You want people to look at you and receive compliments. I don't know exactly what it is that you want, but I'm just kind of imagining. Um, you don't want that certain number of age, you don't want 25, like why 25? Like you want the feeling that comes with it. You want the freedom, the responsibility, the stigma that comes with it. That stigma, that feeling, that all that stuff we have applied to the age, to the appearance. So in order to tap into that parallel universe where you have that certain age, certain facial appearance that you desire, you must embody the energy. Now you are energy and you are worthy of feeling the energy. And you can feel it wholeheartedly. Like you, it doesn't have to be a fake feeling. Like I can close my eyes and I've practiced this a lot and I can, I can imagine the life that I, my desired life and I feel it instantly. And then I look around and I realize that I am living my desired life. I'm, I'm at a point in my life where I've mastered this ability to change my frequency so much that I felt like every single day is the best day of my life every single day is the best day of my life because i know how to change my frequency i know that all these things that we see are just symbols and we apply the meaning to them so why not change your own meaning to those symbols so that you can feel the frequency energy feelings that you desire to feel so to kind of wrap it up and answer your question again with time it is possible of course you will get older or maybe you want to be younger i actually don't know what maybe you're 50 and you want to be 20 embody the frequency of being 20. they will treat you like you're younger like they'll see that you're full of life they'll see that you're healthy and vibrant um, but it's all on you uh, anything is possible whatever feeling that you're craving from having a different age or facial appearance is possible for you to feel it once you feel it and you disconnect the feeling with the with the physical third dimensional aspect uh, thing to it once, once you disconnect that and you're, you you know that you are an energy being that is worthy of feeling whatever energy you want to feel you will no longer care about the third dimensional things the happiness that you will get from feeling like every day is exactly the way that you want it to be and the best day of your life, that happiness will be so much greater than wanting to worry about changing who you are in this moment. You're perfect in this moment. You chose to be who you are right now. You chose to have exactly the qualities that you have right now for a reason. So embrace it. You are a God. You are living, you're a living God with the qualities that you have, all the imperfections that you have. So we are God divided in itself. All of us are the same God divided in itself with different qualities, different lives, different problems so that we can experience what we know, what we knew already conceptually, experientially. So now we're experiencing who we really are in the moment. Not conceptually, we're actually living it. That's what we want. So whatever you're living through right now, it's perfect. It's just the way that it needs to be. And that's all I got to say for today. Namaste.